Welcome to Math and Meditation. Today we're going to uh, learn how to multiply numbers together that have few decimal places. So uh, we'll start this session like uh, the other sessions with a relaxation practice. So we'll put our feet flat on the floor and we'll close our eyes and then we will ra relax each part of the body one part at a time and we will relax on the out breath so we'll take a deep breath and then we'll relax a part of our body on the out breath and we will start with the feet so we take in a deep breath and on the out breath we relax the muscles in our feet During the next out breath, we will relax our legs. Then the hips. The stomach will be next. Next, we'll relax the chest. Then the arms. Then shoulders and neck. And the head. Now with a uh, more relaxed body and mind that is open to uh, learning new concepts and new ideas. We will start uh, to multiply together two numbers with decimals. So uh, let's start with um, say 14.8 six times three point seven so uh, as with uh, numbers with no decimals we write them on top of each other so fourteen point six times three point seven and we multiply the two together so first we act like just there are no decimals at all and we do seven times six which is 42 so two and we save four then four times seven which is 28 plus the 4 we saved, so that's 32. 2 down here, and we save 3. Then 1 times 7 is 7 plus 3, so that's 10. Now we move one decimal place to the left here, which means we also need to move one decimal place left in the answer. And we do that by writing zero in the first most spot on the right. So we have three times six, which is 18. So we have eight down here, and we say one up here. Uh, three times four is 12, plus the one we saved, so 13 
saving one up here. And one times three is three plus the one saved, so that's four. Now we add those numbers together. So we have two in the last spot. Here we get 10, save one, three plus the one saved, so four, and four plus one is five. So now the only question we need to answer is where do we put the decimal place? And the rule is that we count the number of digits on the right of the decimal up here. So we have one here and another here, which means we have two. So we move the decimal like one, two, and we end up here. So uh, the answer is 54.02. Now, uh, let's look at one more extra sample with uh, more digits. Uh, let's say 4.369 times 2.7 and the question is how much is that? We uh, do the same thing, we write each number on top of the other one so we do 2.7 times 4.369 multiply those together <coughs> oops there we go so um, we do 7 times 9 which is 63 3 here save 6 6 times 7 it's 42 plus the 6, so that's 48. And we say 4. Then uh, we have 3 times 7, it's 21, so that's 25. 5, save 2. And 4 times 7, 28, plus the 2, so that's 30. Now we move one decimal place to the left, which means we also need to move one decimal place to the left in the answer. And then we have 2 times 9, which is 18. Save 1. 2 times 6, which is 12, plus the 1 saved, so 13 and say 1. 2 times 3 which is 6 plus the 1 so that's 7. 2 times 4 which is 8 plus the 1 no not plus 1. 2 times 4 which is 8. And now we add these together. So we have 3, 8 plus 8 is 16, say 1, 5, 8, 9, 7, and 11. So as before, the question is where should we put the decimal spot? And now we have one number on the right two, three, four. So we put the decimal spot in spot one, two, three, four. Now this shows us how to multiply in numbers uh, that have decimals in them. So uh, thank you very much.